Hello and welcome to the Unit 3 Textual Analysis screencast. Hope you're all enjoying your week thus far. Okay, so this assignment, first of all, you're going to pick one of your first two essays. So you'll either choose your exploratory essay or your research argument essay, and you're going to find a new peer-reviewed source that fits with your topic. So you'll need to return to the library and do some research and find an article um, that you did not use in one of your first two papers um, that you can use to expand on the topic that you chose for either the exploratory or the researched essay. Uh, you'll be writing an analysis of the article. I'm missing a letter here. And you should also consider adding it to your essay. So you do not have to add this article to your essay. You should just consider it as a revision process for your final portfolio. So our goals for this essay are to dig deeper into a reading and also to see adding a source as a method of revision. Okay, so a textual analysis essay is not about your feelings towards the article or whether or you agree with it or not. So here's a quote from an article called Textual Analysis. You will decide how effectively an author presents his or her argument by examining the techniques the author uses, explaining which ones work or not and why. To do this, you must first think about how these techniques affect the author's intended audience and how they help to achieve the author's intended purpose. So who are they writing to and why? And your analysis will be an explanation of how the author reaches that audience and achieves that purpose, or maybe they don't, in your opinion. Um, in short, your analysis involves thinking critically about how a text works or doesn't and why, and then communicating that clearly. So you'll be reading the article and thinking about if it's effective or if it's not and why you think it's effective or why you think it's not effective. Okay, so some of the key features to a textual analysis, and again, this is cited. Okay, so you will be doing a summary of the text. Depending on how well known the text you're analyzing is, you'll most likely to provide a brief summary of it. You guys will all need to provide a summary, um, and we'll actually do this as one of your pre-assignments to this essay. Um, you should take a look at the context. So a lot of times um, when someone's writing an article, especially a peer-reviewed scholarly article, they're responding to other things that they've read. So keep that in mind as you're reading the article um, that you're, you chose to do this assignment on. Also, you want to make sure that you're not um, putting judgment on the article that you read. So whether whatever you feel about it, it doesn't matter. You're just looking at the facts. So how um, well was this the message that the author intended communicated or how did how did they communicate it or not communicate it? So take a look at their purpose, things like that. Um, you also need to pay attention to your conclusions. So there's going to be lots of different ways that you could interpret a text. So make sure that you're finding support to uh, support to support. Make sure you're finding support to back up the arguments that you're making in your conclusions about the article that you read. Okay, so some things that you could use to ask yourself in completing this assignment. Um, is everything in this text clear to me? Like the words, do you need to look something up? Do you need to um, think about what the expressions are that they're saying? Do you need to check references? Uh, what is the author's purpose or audience for this text? And how do you know that? So how do you know that this is who they're gearing this article towards? And what techniques does the author use to get his or her point across? So something you can look at, does the author quote or refer to credible sources? Do they Does the author appeal to the audience's emotions? Are they organizing the argument in a particular way? Do they use graphics? Things like that. Um, do you have a clearly stated thesis? Did you provide enough sufficient evidence for the claims that you're making? Are your readers going to be familiar with the text that you're analyzing? The answer to that is probably no. Um, they're not going to be familiar with it. Uh, what do you need to know or feel feel about the topic 
or the author? Um, or what do you know, sorry? How will that influence your analysis? So these are all really important questions that you'll want to take a look at as you're analyzing this article and also beginning to write your paper. So let's take a look at the requirements for this assignment. Um, you need to write four to six pages, type double space, Times New Roman font. Uh, you should include a summary and analysis of one scholarly peer-reviewed article, and it should be on a subject related to one of your first two essays. Um, and it's best if you can find one that's contentious. So not so contentious being that it could be disagreed with or agreed with. Um, not something that is like, yep, that's factual. I totally believe it. I'm 100% behind it. No one's going to disprove this argument. You want it to be something that could go either way. As usual, you should follow MLA guidelines for format and text citations and bibliography. And your essay should include the following components. Okay, you need to have an introduction that briefly introduces your text, the essay you've written, so your previous essay, and how you see this article fitting into the essay in a revision. So how can you include this essay in one of those first two essays that you wrote and what purpose might it play in that article or in your essay, sorry. Um, you also need to include a thorough summary of the article. It should be 250 to 500 words. Again, this is something that we're going to do as an in, in, or as a class assignment. Um, you need to have a thesis, so you need to respond to the article that you chose. You can agree with it, disagree with it, partially agree, partially disagree, or you could also argue for a way to use the ideas presented in the article in a new way or apply them to a different context. Um, if you think you have an idea for a thesis but you're not sure about it, please ask me. You also need to include reasoning and support for your thesis. So um, this is the details. It can be based on experience and observation, but you also should bring in other sources. You're not trying to re, um, or but you could bring in other sources. Sorry, you don't have to. Um, you're not trying to re-argue your earlier essay, so you're not re-stating all the points you made in your in your earlier essay. You're just responding to details that were mentioned in the article um, that you chose to write this essay on. And then finally, you need to have a conclusion that revisits how you plan to use this article in a revision of your earlier essay. Again, you do not have to use this article in the actual revision, but you should think about how you could possibly do that, and that should be included in this essay. And then finally, I have my source for the citations I used previously. So this concludes our Unit 3 screencast. Thank you for watching, and I hope this is helpful to you in completing your assignment.